Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be redoing a video I did in the past. I think it was the second video I did and it was about making a hex nut. Today we're going to be redoing that video, but we're going to use new and improved techniques. Okay, let's start out by creating a new component. Get in the habit of doing that. Just call this hex nut. We're going to create a sketch and we're going to put it on the top plane. We're going to use polygon, circumscribe polygon tool. Start in the center, drag it out. Okay, give it a vertical constraint. All right. Add some dimensions. From this side to this side, we'll make this about 19 millimeters. And of course, it's going to shrink. All righty. So now let's go ahead, finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and use the extrude tool. Let's extrude this about 7.1 millimeters. All right. Let's go ahead and create a sketch. Let's put it on his face. Use the center diameter circle and bring it to the edge. Locks into place and it's fully defined. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Once again, let's use the extrude tool. We're going to set the parameters as follows. First and foremost, let's go ahead and select the profile we just created. Taper angle is going to be 45 degrees. What we want to do is just rotate and we're going to select the bottom side. Okay. We're going to select the operation to be intersect and click okay. All right. Let's go ahead and create a mid plane. Select this face, bottom face, click OK. Let's select American Man. I'm going to select features. I'm going to select the extrude that we previously uh, created. Mirror plane is going to be the plane we just created. Computer option is going to be set to identical. Click OK. OK. Now we can go ahead and hide that construction plane. All right. What we want to do now is use the hold command. Rotate it to the top view. Select that face. We can just drag it over till it snaps into place. Okay. We want the whole top to be simple, tap type simple, and we want the drill point to be flat. Okay. We're going to set the width to be about 11 millimeters. Okay. And extents distance wise, we want it to be set to all. And click OK. All right. So next, we're going to go ahead and use the thread command. Select the inside. We want it to be modeled, but we don't want the full length because we're going to be adding some chamfers to give us that countersink that we want. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and set the offset to be 0.3. Length, we want to be 6.5 millimeters. So it doesn't go directly all the way to the bottom. Leave some space because if you don't, when you try to create a countersink, it won't actually uh, fully uh, be created. You'll have some actual jagged edges there. Okay. It'll cause problems later. Everything looks good. Size is going to be 11 millimeters. Designation M11 by 1.5. Click OK. OK. So let's go ahead and select the chamfer tool. Select this edge and that bottom edge. OK. Let's go ahead and make it one millimeter. Click OK. As you can see, the threads actually exit the countersink on both sides. All right. 
But that about wraps it up for this brief tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this second version of the hex nut. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.